Hello guys and welcome back and today we are gonna to start to work with a new playlist which is uh, AWS Data Engineering and uh, basically we are going to discuss uh, some services which help you to build uh, big data solutions on AWS and how they iterate with each other and uh, it will be like the quite a big playlist with uh, a lot of services and the most important things it's I'm going to do some uh, real hands-on practical um, application I mean big data application using uh, AWS services and also using PySpark so stay tuned and uh, we can start right now from from the beginning so once you have your AWS account and you would like to build your data analytical platform so the AWS provide the very uh, very handy tool which is AWS Lake Formation and this is basically the tool which uh, allow you to provide the security for all your data which is located on a on, on your data lake and I will give uh, I will have a separate video where I will explain in more theory how lake formation works but for now let's actually start to do real hands-on right right from scratch so this is the new account and uh, we just have two users one is admin uh, another one just developer and we are going to create the simple data lake uh, for beginner so um, go to the AWS management console and uh, try to search uh, lake formation service this is the first time when I log into Lake Formation Service, and the first step is you have to create your administrator. So let's click to administrator, and this allow us to choose who will be the admin. And as you can see, you can choose uh, users and roles, but let's work with users firstly, and you also have a possibility to use your active directory or quick site i ran to have the access so but first of all let's start with the users like the simple thing so our admin user will be admin on our lake formation click save and here is a console and we will have information who is the administrator and who who is able to create the databases so as you can see there is no user for database creation but let's grant our admin user to create the database okay so <clears throat> also the important things here is if you can see the settings here show us that uh, default permission for new created database and tables right now it's controlled by IAM access policies so what does it mean that's mean even if we have the lake formation uh, by default it still will be using the IAM policies so basically once you decided to switch to lake formation this should be the step when you completely understand what what you're doing so once you change your model to use the lake formation permission model you will be responsible to provide permission on your data only through the lake formation so IAM policy will not work on this case and i will give you the example a little bit later but for now let's just do a simple thing let's just untick all these uh, things and decided that the default permission will to our data will be through lake formation let's click save and uh, now we are good Um, 
recommend it to you. Okay. So actually right now what we are going to do, we are going to create the database and we are going to create the tables and I'm going to show you how it's different from, from the way how another user will see the lake formation. So as you remember we have dev user and this user initially will not have any information about lake formation and the databases but once we allow him to see the um, necessary tables and database, in that case, developers will have the access to our data. So, but basically you have to remember that the lake formation, it's like the umbrella on your security on your data. And data security means that the data will be, can, can be located on S3, can be located on your databases, and uh, it's all all security things will be controlled from lake formation and lake formation also allow you to provide the um, columnar security model in that case uh, you can choose the user or group of the users who will see only certain columns from your table so i will show you all in details and uh, for now uh, we just uh, set up the lake formation initial and we provide the admins for the database creation and uh, for administrator for lake formation. So stay tuned and thank you for watching.